Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on a telegram channel called Before Our Time. Please check the description to know more about the channel. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. It is believed that the first letter appeared to the Sumerians and Egyptians almost simultaneously 5,000 years ago. Tablets found in Transylvania are almost exactly the same as the early writing of the Sumerian and ancient Egyptian civilizations. Similar symbols have been found in Troy and ancient Crete. Except that the preliminary age of the findings is almost 7,000 years old. Maybe the myth of the Tower of Babel is not completely fiction. And in ancient times, there was a single culture that united all civilizations. Mathematical data and common sense. Let's examine this theory using the famous Cheops pyramid as an example. Even people far from history know the official version of its origin, but do they know some mathematical data which directly contradict this version? The Pyramid of Cheops consists of approximately 2 million different blocks. According to the official version of history, it took 20 years to build. By simple mathematical calculations, we receive a situation when for installation of one block, it should take no more than 3 minutes. Can you imagine how ancient people could organize such a process and maintain it for 20 years? Besides nobody tries not to mention the enormous granite blocks which were delivered from a swan quarry being in 800 kilometers from Cheops Pyramid. Don't forget the three minutes. About big people and grand buildings. The building of the naval artillery arsenal is distinguished by the considerable size of the doorway and the high level of the windows. Yes, the door handle hole and the keyhole are also much higher than human height. Comparing the dimensions with a human height of 185 centimeters, the keyhole, door handle and windows appear to be perfectly suited to the use of a creature exactly twice as tall. If you still remember my old video, one of the museums in Japan keeps a sword 3.77 meters long and weighing 15 kilograms. There are also ordinary swords of enormous eyes, not only Japanese swords. Explanations for this length for the balance of the sword and the finishing of the blow are clumsy attempts to protect the usual picture of the world. One of the names is one and a half handed, as if they were held with one and a half hands. Well, that's a laugh. The most plausible explanation is the presence of people with somewhat large palms. However, in the official history the presence of giants is forbidden, so we have to invent various fairy tales and excuses, but the facts are before our eyes. For a person of normal height to carry such a sword, and, even more so, to fight in a duel, is suicide. But if his master is three or four meters tall, then for him this sword will be quite fit to carry. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Slave owners in the United States like to convert slaves to Christianity, but the places in the Bible where slavery was condemned were not worth seeing for slaves. 
the slave traders found a way around this. 10% of the Old Testament and 50% of the New Testament were left of the canonical text. As a result, the slave Bible was born. The book of Exodus, how Moses led the Jews out of Egyptian slavery, was completely eliminated, but the story of Joseph's captivity and enslavement was preserved, apparently as a useful example of humility. There is no Apostle Peter's letter to the Galatians, the phrase, there is neither slave nor free, for you are all one in Christ, might have led the slaves to the wrong thoughts and conclusions. But there is Paul's letter to the Ephesians, because, servants shall be obedient to their masters, fit perfectly with the general line. Don't like the story? Cut it out. Mammoths found with undigested grass in their stomachs have been lying in the permafrost for several thousand years, historians say. But a historian is not a chemist. A historian cannot explain why mammoths did not decompose under the influence of their own gastric juice. Gastric juice needs body temperature, about 35 to 37 degrees, to work properly. But there is hydrochloric acid in the gastric juice. And here's a surprise for the historian who skipped chemistry in school. The average permafrost temperature is about minus 15 degrees, and hydrochloric acid continues to work even at minus 30 degrees. Slower, of course, but did mammoths not decompose in thousands of years? El Nesla Stone who in ancient times could have cut it so evenly into two pieces, and why. A stone in Saudi Arabia was once and by someone cut in half as evenly and smoothly as if it had been carved by a laser using the latest technology. It is completely incomprehensible how these already two stones can hold their balance for a long time without moving at all. The distance between the two blocks remains exactly the same. The smooth cut is so flawless that it suggests that it was cut by laser or by some very precise modern technology. It is true that even in our time, such laser technology has not yet been fully developed and studied. But the stone was cut many hundreds or perhaps thousands of years ago. It is not clear how people at that time could cut such huge stones and with what tools. The carbon battery is an uninterrupted and self-contained power source that lasts more than 70 years without interruption or recharging. Such a mini perpetual motion machine with one volt of power. Why is the museum where it is stored attacked by crowds of journalists, scientists, and researchers? The management of the museum gives the perfect justification. The battery is not shown to scientists and visitors because the museum has no money to ensure proper protection of this miracle specimen. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.